there was a couple things that I have to go over and I promised Chris I would do this I'm gonna do a brief tutorial of the car kit slash Apple CarPlay um, I think overall everything has been installed it's like at uh, 95 98 percent the projects almost complete but with that being said I just want to go over the features and everything that's within the CarPlay and some of the nuances what we call nuances because we're not used to the controls yet but with that being said let's go through it because last week's um, install while it was challenging lack of instructions it is doable it's very doable so let's go through it with that being said Okay, first, let's just get the phone out. Here's my iPhone, wireless, no wires attached. So I'm gonna hit the start button, my car, ACC mode, and there it is. That's the GTR screen. I'm gonna turn down the sound, excuse the radar. I know I have some maintenance to do, okay? But let's just get into CarPlay. We're getting into CarPlay right away, a car kit you can hold down the back button right here or right there you get into the the carplay slash uh, the carplay slash uh, car um, you know just the carplay and car kit uh, interface there are several options here so let's walk through this a little bit right um, there's the this is the interface this is the app this is the settings this is the navigation if you were to hooked up the navigation GPS there's YouTube, there's videos, there's music, and there's autoplay, which is CarPlay. Let's go through that a little bit more in details on a little bit later day of the other four functions. But let's, for sake of discussion, let's go through auto CarPlay, autoplay, which is CarPlay. Tap that. It says looking for it. So give it a moment. Please connect the phone. Tap that. And it found my phone. Usually it's a lot quicker. It's just a matter of. Um, sorry about that. For the sake of this, I'm going to disconnect it. My radar. Okay, so here's CarPlay. For those who doesn't know, this is Apple CarPlay, and I'm running Android. I mean, I'm the iOS 13 already, as you can tell. So, all that being said, um, this is the three screen, and most of the time I use Waze, um, iTunes, and also the phone. But with that being said, if you go back into the icons here, there are all your icons. Okay, uh, you can see I loaded my app, XM Radio. I use WhatsApp at times on here. Waze is definitely on here, like it says on the left hand side here, and also some messengers. So Apple CarPlay is a pretty fluid, pretty nice interface, and um, it's fairly self-explanatory, especially if you have an iPhone. So now, like I said, this is a wireless type of application here. Now, if you want to get back into uh, the G the car uh, the car kit interface, the Android, which when we first booted up, you go to GTR. It takes you back to here. If you want to go to the apps, you would go to the icons here. Fairly self-explanatory. Uh, pretty fluid. Uh, the car's not on right now, it's just on battery power. I do have my car on a trickle charger to make sure that I don't completely drain the battery so I can't start the car in the morning. But with that being said, this is the interface. This is pretty cool. Now, um, you're going to ask, what are these? These are preset in some of the menus here in the factory settings in an app path. This is something that you can set. For example, if you wanted to just have um, YouTube or navigation or video or all of it YouTube, you can just program all that here. But I don't know if any... Who would actually really want to do that? But with all that being said, you can set everything here. But to dive into the factory settings, guys, the code is one, six, three, zero. It's not rocket science, so it's in there. Hit check. So here are additional details about how you want to set it up. Now, I haven't fully set up my car with the front cam yet. Although I installed it, um, I have to rewire something in here because we finally discovered that you do not use, even though it's labeled uh, on the brown wire as the front cam, you actually have to use the yellow RCA in there. So I need to redo that from my red. But with that being said, once I'm finished with that, I will come in here and I will click through the menus to make sure that what cameras to add. 
for example here I would add front camera or something of that nature um, to help me recognize um, the the cameras that I'm going to be using but whatever it is you know we'll, we'll figure it out uh, later on but you can set like your temperature as in your Fahrenheit or Celsius uh, audio gain if you think that the volume is not coming through good enough or you need to recalibrate some of, uh, of the sound with the bass uh, uh, treble or mid-range you can uh, calibrate that here to add more decibel and so forth so this is pretty neat for the fact that there's great control over your audio and the things that's happening in there now go to ask how do I get back to um, how do I get back to my OEM gauges now traditionally when the car is moving if you use the disc aux it will go in go back in it will not go back into the GTR um, gauges what you really want to do is start getting used to using back in fact when you hit it you don't just push it you have to hold the button down and it'll jump back into the OEM gauges screen so just keep that in mind while you can toggle this through one uh, but not when the car is moving you really want to get you uh, get used to using the back button with this interface overall it's it's very easy to use um, I mean it's been very fluid like for example I need if I need to go back to uh, Apple CarPlay or car kit alone I hold a button down boom I'm back into here but I don't theoretically have to hop out of Apple CarPlay to, to get back into G GTR screen I'm in Apple CarPlay now before I was in car kit to jump back in the gauges now I'm gonna use CarPlay back into the gauges hold it down boom there I want to go back to CarPlay hold it down boom back in the car play very fluid very quick um, you know once you hook everything up and get used to it like everything else anything else it's it's a very very good system so that's what I have for you um, feel free to text me email me or just PM me within Facebook uh, in the chats and um, I'll try my best to help everyone out and uh, right now I think the install is almost near perfect at this point and um, I'm really happy with it um, I think the device overall is it's absolutely um, confirming what it signed up for what it's supposed to do um, so you know even though I think some users in, out there are, are having a little difficulty or very very little uh, challenges of iOS 13 as you can tell from my screen it supports iOS 13 flawlessly and I have an iPhone X Max um, and this is where it is so again any questions anything give me a holler and as always, as I'm trying to grow my channel, please go down there and subscribe. I will have more GTR videos by all means, and uh, but other contents also. I do a lot of unboxing and just, I mean, you know, try to enjoy life and, and, and share some stuff. Um, so, all right. Thank you. And we'll talk to each other soon. Take care.